Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Problem number 40, chapter 23, Gauss Law. Uh, figure shows a very large non conducting, very large non conducting sheet uh, that has a uniform surface charge density of sigma equal to minus 2.00 microcoulomb per meter squared. It, is, it also shows a particle of charge Q equal to 6.00 microcoulomb at a distance d from the sheet. Both are fixed in place. If d is equal to 0 0.200 meters at what uh, part A positive and part B negative coordinate of x axis other than infinity is the net electric field of the sheet and particle 0. Part C, if D is equal to 0.8 meters, at what coordinate on the x axis is uh, net E net equal to 0? Okay. So, we have this charge configuration. Uh, we have an uh, infinite charge sheet which is negatively charged. Sigma is minus 2.00 microcoulomb per meter square. So, this is negatively charged sheet. And we have a charge particle here at the origin of this coordinate system. This is x, this is y at the origin separated by distance of d. We have to find a point where uh, electric field, net electric field is 0. Okay? We have to find coordinate of that point where net electric field is 0. Uh, Let us consider first the possible regions. Okay? We will talk about the possible regions first. Let us divide it into three parts. This is region 1, this is region 2 and this is region 3. In region 1, uh, field due to this plate, since plate is negatively charged, so field will be towards the plate. Let us write E sigma. Field due to this uh, plate which is having a surface charge density of sigma. Then field due to the positively charged particle is going to be leftward. E, I will write capital Q for this. Now, the field vectors I am drawing is along x axis, not here at this point, not here at this point. This is along x axis, okay. This is along x axis. So, uh, let me draw it on x axis. Uh, so, they are in opposite directions. If the magnitudes are same, then field can be 0. So, region 1 is a possible region for electric field to be 0, okay. It is a possible region for electric field to be 0. Then region 2, in region 2, uh, plate is negatively charged, so field will be towards the plate, E sigma as usual. Uh, positively charged particle, so field will be away from the particle, so this is field due to Q. <coughs> so you can see both the fields are in same directions. So net field cannot be 0 in this, because they won't cancel out, they will add up. So net field cannot be 0 in region 2, from this point to this point. Net field cannot be 0. So, we have a possible region where field can be 0, region 1. We have a uh, region, uh, region 2 that is where field cannot be 0. It is not permissible for field to be 0 there. Then region 3, due to the negatively charged plate, field is towards the plate, E sigma. And due to the positively charged particle, field is away from the positive charge, E q. Again, you can see the two fields are in opposite directions. So, field can be, net field can be 0 if the two magnitudes are same. So, this is a possible region, this is a possible region, this is not a permissible region for field to be 0, net field to be 0. So, uh, uh, field can be 0 in region 3 and field can be 0 in region 1. So, let us uh, now uh, consider, we will find out a general result first, then we will uh, go specifically to, the, to what question is asking us to do. So, I will... Uh, Consider a point P here, okay, with a position at a position of x, x coordinate distance from the origin is x. Field due to field due to negatively charged plate is this way, E sigma, and field due to the positively charged plate is this way, E q. Now for field to be zero. <coughs> For field to be net field to be zero, the two magnitudes must be same. Okay, the two magnitudes must be same. So uh, let's write down that equation. So for field for E net equal to zero, E due to sigma must be equal to E due to the charge Q. And field due to an infinitely charged sheet. <coughs> we know that we have used it in previous sessions, many of the previous sessions, sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. 
ओके सिग्मा डिवाइड बाय टू एप्सिलॉन जीरो इज इक्वल टू दिस इज फील्ड ड्यू टू अ पॉइंट चार्ज नाउ फील्ड ड्यू टू अ पॉइंट चार्ज इज ऑलरेडी नोन टू अस गामा क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर डिस्टेंस इज एक्स दिस टाइम सो गामा क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर गामा इज द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक कांस्टेंट इफ यू आर यूजिंग 1/4 बाय एप्सिलॉन जीरो परफेक्ट इफ यू आर यूजिंग के देयर परफेक्ट व्हाटएवर यू आर यूजिंग यू कैन यूज इट सो दिस इंप्लाइज x square is equal x square upstairs so we have gamma q 2 epsilon 0 upstairs here 2 epsilon 0 gamma q divided by sigma downstairs so this implies x is equal to plus minus under root of twice epsilon 0 gamma q divided by sigma so we have two possible values of x okay two possible values of x if any of the two values is <coughs> in region 2 as we discussed earlier <coughs> if any of the two possible values of x is in region 2 that is not permissible okay so in that case we will reject that value of x and we will only consider the value of x which lies in region 3 or in region 1 okay or in region 1 uh, that is to say x must be magnitude of x must be greater than d on this side on uh, uh, if x is to be on this side it has to be greater than d for it to be in the permissible region okay on this side it can be anywhere but for on uh, on this side it has to be greater than d so since magnitude of x is same for both there is just the difference of sign so magnitude of x must be greater than d so let's substitute the values and find out what we get x is equal to plus minus under root of twice epsilon 0 gamma q Twice epsilon zero is eight point eight five into ten to the power minus twelve. Gamma electrostatic constant is nine into ten to the power nine. Q. Q. Q is given that is uh, six microcoulombs. Six microcoulombs. So six into ten to the power minus six coulombs. We are using everything in SI system. So upstairs is done. Sigma. Sigma is. Minus two. Uh, we're just using the magnitude, so two microcoulombs, two, so divided by two into ten to the power minus six. We're using everything in SI system. So this is what we have to work out. I have already done that. X comes out to be plus minus zero point six nine one, zero point six nine one meters. Okay, zero point six nine one meters. Now. Uh, So for part A and B, for parts A and B, D is given. Uh, D is what is the value of D? D is D is D is D is zero point two zero zero meters. Zero point two zero zero meters. And the x we got is plus minus zero point six nine one meters. Six nine one meters. so clearly you can see uh, you can clearly see uh, magnitude of x is greater than d this is 0.691 this is 0.2 magnitude of x is greater than d now what do we mean by that uh, how does that uh, 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 how do we put that in in the diagram this is the origin one of the values is positive so that is on this side so that is not a problem for us the other value is negative minus 0.69 that is on the left side and since its value is greater than the that means this point must be lying somewhere here this is that 0.691 this d is 0.2 just it will be further further away from it so this is the permissible region this is the permissible region here this is the permissible region this is the permissible region so both values are acceptable okay so both values are acceptable in part a we are asked to find out the positive coordinate x and in part b we are asked to find out negative coordinate x where field is zero so one of them is positive the other one is negative so for part a for part a x is equal to plus 0.691 meters that is the answer for part a and for part b x is equal to minus 0.691 meters that is the negative one on the negative side then in part c then in part c okay now in part c okay so in part c d is given uh, 
0.8 meters, 0.800 meters. Now we have already found that x value x value this is the value of x for which net field is zero okay net field is zero this is independent of the value of d independent of d independent of d so if you displace plate on this side or on this side changing d in uh, decreasing d or increasing d x does not change okay x does not change because field due to the uniformity infinite sheet is uniform so it won't matter its field does not change if you move it around okay so uh, this result is independent of d so what we have in this case in part uh, c the value of d is different but x won't be different Okay, x won't be different because x is independent of d. So x value is still plus minus 0 0.691 meters. Okay, 0 0.691 meters. So let's move on to the diagram now. Okay, again, let's move on to the diagram. This value d this time is 0 0.800 meters from here to here. And our x value is 0 0.691 plus and minus 0 0.691. 0 0.691, let's suppose that's somewhere here, plus 0 0.691. So we don't have a problem with that. That's the permissible region where field can be zero. But the other one, negative value uh, of x, which is minus 0 0.691, that magnitude is less than 0.8. So that will be somewhere here. That is somewhere here. This is uh, minus 0 0.691. Now the negative coordinate lies in region 2. Remember we call it region 2. And that is not the permissible region for field to be 0. Field cannot be 0. So negative value of x is rejected. Will be rejected in this uh, uh, part C. Okay, will be rejected. So x equal to minus 0 0.691 meters is not allowed. Is not allowed. So rejected. Okay, so rejected. So what is the other value? What is now the uh, uh, allowed value for x? That is plus 0 0.691. So for part C, we'll have just one answer, uh, one coordinate where x is 0, where field is 0. x is equal to plus 0 0.691 meters. So this is answer for part C. This is not the acceptable value. And for part A, we have plus 0 0.691 for part A. And for part B, we have minus 0 0.691. For part C, only plus 0 0.691. Although mathematically, we get two possible values. But one of them is not uh, the allowed value. So we reject that. We accept only the positive value. Is that fine? That'll do for this session.